All right, so we have processed our birds and we've let them rest for two days. Um, we're gonna let them rest another day, but I wanna go ahead and get in here and part them. So it's clean, everything's cleaned out. You can see up in the, all the guts are out. Um, I just wanna do a visual inspection just to make sure that there's no leftover feathers. Um, sometimes you get the little pin feathers in there. I uh, want to make sure you get all those out. Get all the feathers out from around the, the legs. Um, and then you can start parting. So I always start with the wings. Just to get them out of the way. So what I'll do. Get them around here where you can see. So pull the wing out. There's a joint right here. It's just like your shoulder. So I get the knife in and go around that joint, just kind of feel around it with my knife, like such, and then I pop it. You can kind of hear it popping. If that bothers you, then mute it, because I can't stop popping. And then just kind of work around that joint, so you see the, the bone sticking there. Um, so we just work around that until it pops loose. And there you have it. You got a wing gone. And then you got another wing, same way. Kind of pull it out, go in the front, go around the, the joint with your meat. Kind of pop it out. And just trim it off. The next step I do is the leg quarters. I don't normally separate my thighs from my legs um some people can i just i just don't we eat them whole so i pull it out like this and then just go around the joint the same way it's the hip joint on a human and just get the meat out and then pop it out and you can see the bone right here and then just cut it. Same way with this one. Now when we use our chicken plucker, it leaves the skin on. Skin makes it taste better. It gives it more flavor. Um, it's all in personal preference, whatever, however you want to do it. It's just, just the way we do it. Okay, so you've got the, the arms and the legs off, basically. Now these chickens are Cornish Cross chickens um they're the big white chickens like you see on um, the chicken trucks going to the chicken factory i guess you'd call it um so they're seven weeks old and they grow very fast so um they're not supposed to live i mean they can live longer but normally they butcher them at about eight to nine weeks um that's that that means that they're uh mature and they're not going to grow a whole lot more um after that and they'll start dying they um they have a weak system so any kind of startlement they'll actually have a heart attack die um in fact i lost one last week because i moved the chicken tractor and i guess i startled it i don't know it flapped and it actually died a couple hours later. So anyway, so you've got your breast here. And these birds are actually double-breasted, and I'm going to show you. But I go down the sternum, the, the, mid, the midsection here, and I just take my knife and go all the way in as far as I can go. And you can kind of feel the bones in there. Um, I take my knife and just go right along those bones and just kind of shave off, so to speak your meat now we do leave some meat on there and that's okay because i'll tell you in just a minute um so this is one one breast here um let me get it out here so we got the co little collarbone right there and you just go along the bones now put that to the side this is one breast here now what i say when they're double breasted so you've got another 
breast underneath right here. Um, so you've got a big hunk of meat there. And then you've got a smaller meat there that just kind of fits in there. And a lot of times if you go, I know if you go to our local place, Amex Poultry um, in Batesburg, um, you can buy the little, the little breasts. Uh, they call them the little strips. You can buy those by the boxfuls. I'm pretty sure you used to be able to anyway. Um, and then of course this goes to the grocery stores. And uh, so anyway, so that's, that's one breast there. And then... So you do the same thing. So you've got the little sternum bone in the center right there. And it's like a cartilage. And you can go all the way to where you feel it stop, which is the, 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 the frame bone. Turn it around here where you can see. And again, I'm just going along the, the bone here and cutting the meat off. Got a little bit too. There we go. I'm just shaving it off like that. Go around that little collarbone right there. And there you have it. So we leave these whole. Um, we leave the, 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 the small part into the big part. And what, what I do with them, so this is a pretty good chunk of meat right here. Um, I'd say it's probably a good two inches thick. So if you put that on the grill, it's going to take forever for it to cook all the way through. So what I do, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you on this one. I'll go ahead and cut the skin off because I don't want skin on my, what we call, we call them strips. Um, strips, nuggets, however you wanna say it. So I go ahead and skin those. And then I just cut it from apex to the bottom tip down there apex is sorry from top to bottom not side to side so you kind of cut it with the grain so you got the grain of the meat here and I just cut them in just strips um, not too thick and I'm like that's a slab of meat right there so I cut it in another piece just to kind of thin it down you can come in. Sarah walked in on me and heard me talking to myself. She's coming in here to check on me. She just got done skinning a deer out that she killed this morning. So today is processed meat day. Okay, so I've got this much meat off of one breast, okay? Um, that will feed two people, well, two people. Um, so one chicken will feed my family of four with two young, I won't call them teenagers, um, one of them is, but older, older kids that can eat a lot. So, all right. So I've got, um, the carcass left and we don't throw anything away. Okay. So we've got the neck here. Um, that's got a good bit of meat on it. And I left a little bit of meat on the, on the bone. Okay. You can't get every little morsel off. Um, and of course you got the right next to the sternum there. Um, and on the back, let me cut this off real quick and show you. So a lot of your old people used to like to eat chicken backs because they said that's, that's the best flavor of the meat. So I'm gonna show you if I can get the skin off. Chicken backs, it's not a whole lot of meat. All right, so this is the backs here. So you got you got some good meat here and here in the shoulder, so to speak, and the the hip uh, sacrum area, that that area there. So what I do with this now is I put it in a in a big pot, 
and I'll cook it, I'll boil it, and all that meat falls off that bone. And so the carcass is then slick. So I'll take that meat and it's like shredded meat. Um, no bones in it, no gristle in it. I'll separate all that out. And then I will um, make chicken and rice or chicken and dumplings or something like that um, with that kind of chicken, with that chicken. So we don't waste any of it. Now, when I boil down the pot of uh, carcasses, all that broth that I get, I will take that broth and skim it, uh, get all the impurities out of it, like the um, carcass and bone, you know, bone fragments and that kind of stuff. I'll get that out of it and then I will um, can it. So we'll have fresh chicken broth. And so um, I usually end up with, and I do it in pints uh, instead of quarts because quarts is a lot of chicken broth. I'd rather use two pints than a whole, than waste half of a quart. And so, um, anyway, we don't, we don't waste anything. The only thing we throw away is the head and the feathers and the guts. Um, and we have been throwing away the carcass bone, but like I say, this year, I think I'm going to try to grind them up and make it, put it into the dog food somehow. I'll see how that goes. Alrighty. Well, I've got a bunch of chickens left over uh, to, to do and I'll show you. So this is my wings here so far and then my, my leg quarters. I mean, if you want to, you can separate the um, thighs from the legs, make it go further, but you know, that's just the way we do it. And then I've got a big thing of, of breasts in here. Um, and then I've got some more carcasses here that I've got to, to do. So I'm going to get busy because I've got 38 birds to do. Thank you.